All right, YouTube audience, welcome back. Uh, as I said, the streaming audience is getting a little more of a straight playthrough. Uh, we'll be running ads in between episodes for uh, you guys. The YouTube audience, once again, will not see these, but the Twitch audience will. Once again, they get a little behind-the-scenes action that you guys don't get. So this is why you need to watch the live streams. Not only do you get to see behind-the-streams actions, but I also pull off my clothes and dance uh, on my stream uh, in between these uh, episodes. So you guys are missing out on that. Well, look at that funky run he's doing. Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? Bitch, I said I'll see you in the morning. Thank you, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. One day, I'm fine. Uh, come in, come in. I'm already in. You know, you never understand. did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson, or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did Wanda. not. Well, Fuck why him. not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and... Was that a triple negative? Going. John Marston? telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me reticence. when I say that wow. it's simply out of respect for you. Of course. Okay, Marston, using Marston. these big words and Honestly, triple negatives. City dwellers such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> Oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Did she just hit on me? She wants me to ride. She doesn't think I can ride. Oh, I don't think she can ride. ride oh, damn. Slow down, lady. I can't. I got a rib thing. What are you doing? I got a problem. I got shot. Oh, oh it's just... Okay, never mind. No big deal. Let's go. You're way too crazy. Sexual pun number three. I hope you guys are keeping count. I see that John dude is. Thank you. On the count of three. The D. Three, two, one, go! I wow. You're not gonna what be a, a terrible start. Nope, I'm gonna beat you. The idea with horse riding in uh, Red Dirt Bitch is to stay on the paths. Because if you go off the paths, your horse will slow down. Bitch, you behind me. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. This is actually watching quite difficult there, sometimes. If you're not watching the uh, horse's stamina, you can run yourself into some problems. How you doing back there? It's not too difficult for the most part as long as you watch it. They're not comfortable, I have to tell you, but I'm sure you so, making me race on a horse doesn't help. Would you like me to slow down? Come on. I bet you're starting to regret your brain. Luckily for me, I am an experienced rider as a uh, cowboy. Let's pick up the pace. Not a city man. What are you doing? Why did Let's you jump go. over that? Oh, God, you're so stupid, horse. No, I will bump you off the track. Jolly, my horse decided to jump over a fence. And Dick, you're the second as a piece of shit, I tell you. Should I wait for you to catch up? Are you saving the best for last? Whoa. Careful, Dick, you're the second. Gotta jump off a fucking cliff. Yeah.
looks like I am gaining a little bit of a lead on her. Which is always nice. Yeah. And we are done, pretty much. I believe this is the finish right up here. Yep, two more. We'll go ahead and sprint to the finish. Easy. She wants the D. Told you. <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you. Deal you know, with you should that. race me again, even though I just got shot. No big deal. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Can I keep Dick here the second for now? Damn, am I smoking against it? I don't know. Just leaning against this pole. No big deal. Look at that cinematic exit. Oh. I was thinking it's going to be awesome looking into the sun like that, but never mind. I'm going to swat at a, a bug. Uh, let's go and do another uh, another McFarlane quest mission real quick. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston. How are you? Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get Thank you, some Bombshell. supplies I, I like can that. do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> is this another... Is that a pun again? Take the driver's seat. Come on. Is that another pun? I think that's number four. Are we keeping count? That sounds like a, a pun. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Besides the well, horse race, you cunt. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories Excuse me, sir. arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Are those horses over there jumping? Do anybody else see that? Like fucking salmon out of a river. Like later they're just bouncing. Oh, there's a rabbit. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I, can I think we're still on that. four. I don't think that's number six. I think you're taking a little too much uh, as a sexual pun. I still think it needs to be uh, relatively obvious that it's a sexual pun. Bitch, I'm going around you. you, never did tell me where no you blinker live. Any, anyway. I have a small holding up a great plane. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Finish up the conversation, uncle. come well, on. He's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. The kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, Sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. There we go. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. No, I'm not gonna drive off a cliff, Major. I'm gonna try and not do that. Thank you, Miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. 
I'll try. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. No. So now we gotta go outside the general store. There's Bonnie, leaning on that fence post like a slut. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. At least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. But travel safely, miss. But Dick here. Try not to get the second. Shot. I won't be around to save you this time. No, we're still on number four. <laughs> Free medicine, I tell you. Clearly an honorable man. Let's go ahead and head to the next mission. Hello, Mayor. Hello. Oh. And there goes the bullet. <laughs> no, 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 no. Once again, we're going to try and play it, play it properly, not be shooting everyone, McMaster. I don't want to go shooting everybody. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. You got a visitor. <coughs> Probably the most disgusting character in the game right here. Shut up, you. Now what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. Does this sound familiar? Borderlands? What you want? Apparently the so. guy who sells you the, uh... Why? The iridium stuff in Borderlands 2? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. Sounds familiar to me. Gray Zero, you thank you. You fella from the train company. No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what, you, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? <laughs> I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dick. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. Love. Love the interaction between I'm the here characters in this game. Capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Shot in the ribs. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. 
and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down <clears throat> settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. And I'm forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. Easy enough. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. No. <laughs> My guy's like, I hate everything. Let's head over to the saloon. I like how we're walking in unison here. It's nice. Come on, for a second there. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. The way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. <laughs> That guy looks interesting, doesn't he? He's a dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Can I do that too? Dick, you're the second! Where are you? Dick, you're the second, let's go! Yeah! No, slow down, slow down! There you go. Let's go. Get on your horse, Marshal. Let's go. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlaw is easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Ooh. Yeah, this is a great game. I agree with Bombshell on that one. I don't know why you think this game is a cool hick. Or hill hick? No, it's H I I can't find that hick. Hike. It's a great game. Come on! Hey with me for Christ's sake! Let's stop so we can get a better look. Whoa. This game really has everything I would want in a game. It's got a story to go with it, amazing soundtrack, voice acting, it's fun, it's open world, it's like interactive, it's, it's got everything that I could possibly want. I can't even think of all the things I like about this game. Damn. Take cover. Once again, there's some there's some things here and there that you might find wrong, and there's things you can say to say, ah, there's, this is a problem with it. But overall, this game is beyond perfect. Oh, we're finally getting to shoot some people. That's what I wanted right here. Shot. I'm a gunner. Very 
Very good. Took me a few shots, but still. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Come on. Oh, now. This is the dude on the back of his horse. No big deal. Boom. Headshot. Let's do some looting. Get some money, hopefully. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Where's that guy? There he is. Dead guy, money. Dead guy. Is that Dickier down there? Oh wait, no, there's Dickier right there. I think. Yeah, that's him. Dickier the second. Let's go, buddy. Off and do the sunset with us. Come on. <laughs> oh man, I remember that too. How do you remember that? With the uh, yeah, I was streaming, wasn't I? I was streaming some Red Dead Redemption, and we were we were surrounded up in the. Uh, that cabin. What do we call it? We just call it Cougar Cabin, I believe. <laughs> Those cougars trying to get in the house. <laughs> we couldn't leave. That was so funny. Good times. I'm glad somebody remembers that. I'm gonna not really worry about the path right now. I'm going basically to that little town where you can see it. Here's somebody shooting over here. I'm not sure who it is. Read the treasure map, of course I will. Come on, easy up now. I get to save this guy, that's unfortunate. Alright, so we now have a treasure hunter rank one. <clears throat> that's also another thing you can do in this game, besides just killing people doing the main quest. There's also little side missions, uh, bounties to complete, things like that. Uh, also hunting, uh, herbalism even. Uh, you can go around getting plants and stuff like that. So there's a lot of little things you can do here and there. Not only do you rank up, but you can also uh, sell them for money. Yes, there is slow-mo. It's called Deadeye. The uh, bar on the bottom left, right where my map is, you can also see uh, the little red. That's your uh, Deadeye. Now, later on in the game, you can lock on to people and actually shoot them in certain places. It leads to more skilled shots. It adds the uh, actual video game element to the game, so it gives you kind of an unfair advantage, but it can be difficult. the right analog stick you click it down you can use your dead eye at any time as long as you have enough to do it Hello. oh this part's funny Armadillo 731 <coughs> what is it with these things hello it's a new line hello hello sounds fun what's happening I have no idea yeah, if it's important they'll send someone down like they did with you suddenly the world is full of days yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here we used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm is most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. <laughs> 
You ride with us again, Marcy? Believe it or not, that's actually one of my favorite characters. Not my favorite, but one of them. He's just a really funny, funny character. Just goofy as hell, too. And still no fucks given by the uh, prisoner there. Alright, Dick here, the second. Let's go. Come on, Marshal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, Eli. Be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land, bringing modernization and betterments to the West. It's only made the rich richer and the poor poorer. And it's killed a way of life. Look at what they've done to the natives for God knows how many years now. It's hardly like they're gonna suddenly start respecting a man's right to work his land. That's different. They're savages. It ain't that different, Jonah. Wise words by Marston, once again. Are you sure we're the Bollard twins, Eli? We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. Oh, there. Whoa. Everybody dismount and follow me. Head for the fort. Whoa. You guys want to run or you guys want to walk in? I guess we're going to kind of jog. Sorry about that, Marshall. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. No, I don't know about that bombshell. I don't think pound leather is ne necessarily a sexual pun. I think it works both ways. Yeah, because he's dead. Hurry up! Stay with us! I gotta get my loot. You don't understand. It's important. Stay with me! Right! I'm in charge now! That was some pretty damn good shooting, John. Survivors over here. I don't think so. Are you kidding me? Nope, not kidding you. I need my ammo. Follow me. That's enough, my oh, god damn law. You telling me lie. Hat shot. Man, there goes his hat. And there goes his face. Whoa, I see you up there. He's hiding. But 
It is Buck. To the victor, the spoil. Uh, swearing, I know at least eight PewDiePies. Thank you for asking. Where are you going? He's dead. What do you got there? Nothing? No. Oh! What we got there? What we got there? Ammo. Eh. Man, money. That's what. That's fine with me. Seventy-five bucks, in fact. Damn, those Baller twins got themselves an army. Yeah, wrestling's a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Yes. Well, man, Swearing, I know eight real cutie pies. Eight of them. But the rancher can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. Yep. It's one of them vicious circle things the marshal keeps chawing about. Beat those sons of bitches. We've got to get to that ridge. You're dead. Headshot. This way. Where's the oh there he is. I shoot you in your dick. And then in your head. He's been giving them hell on the other side. That marshal of yours sure doesn't seem to mind getting his hands dirty. Oh, he ain't afraid to pull the trigger, all right. And he's been after these rustlers for a long time. He tell you he's all about the book. Let the judge decide a man's fate. But he throws out plenty of his own justice, too. Where's your friend in iron now? What? That's a good way to shoot your life. these bastards are. Sit down. Put your gun down, friend. It's kind of late to tell him. And fall. That's all I do. I wanted to make him fall off the cliff. This way. We have to help him. Quick. Yeah, we do. Oh, hey there, guy. This ain't good. Oh, you're dead. And there goes his head. Now on to the next one. Sit down. Look at you, boy. Come on, let's regroup. For Christ's sakes. Not bad. I'll kill you twice, you son, bitch. Move. Find out, will you? <laughs> what the you'll be needing this. I'm regrouping. I'm just getting some ammo. What do do? See, we're regrouped. What up, guys? Follow the marshal. I oh, want to get down. Be all sneaky. Very clever, Marshal. I can only make the first shot. Fair enough. That bastard won't be rustling no more. Nice shot. Thank you. Why don't you go get some bread? Even this up a bit. Why don't out. you point that at one of the fellas who's shooting at us? Nobody's shooting. Oh, there we go. Gotta love that TNT. I think there's one. There it is. Go behind there, see if I can hit him. Uh, let's go and blow some more TNT then. I think that's TNT. 
That would be a yes. Okay, it should be all of them. Oh, one more. Don't just stand there. Oh, there he is. Where are you going? He's dead now. <laughs> Quick, let's nice. get those hostages free. But, but loot. Uh, Lucas, I started playing about an hour and a half ago. Well, about an hour ago, to be honest. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. I hate thank the you. rustling cow stuff. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Yes, well done. <laughs> now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman. <laughs> who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Oh man, Mr. Wes Dickens himself. Can't wait to meet him. Those are there women out here. I didn't even see those. That cows. Get up, Marston. Get up, Marston. There we go. Now, as one of you said in the chat, check out these boxes and see what we got in them. Probably some money. Yep, some more money, and no guns though, just money. That's fine though. Yes, $153, so excuse me. Make that $166, very good. Awesome. 